hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this flipping text animations inside of after effects without using any third party plugin don't forget to check out my logo animation course on udemy link is available in the description so you can do check it out now and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started Here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and I'll call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration we are going to choose 20 second long and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection and press Ctrl Y on your keyboard to create one solid background. I am call it as BG and choose white color for it. Simply hit OK and hit OK and let's lock this layer. Now first of all you need to type whatever code you want. I am going to choose Poppins font bold version and I don't want any stroke and for the fill we are going to choose red color because this is going to be my reference layer so let's type our text let's decrease this font size a little bit let's type our code i'm going to type eat sleep design repeat select this text let's decrease decrease the distance between these lines Select this, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it like this. Now select this layer and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. And select all of them and let's delete this. We need only this E. Select this E and change the color of this one to the black one like this. And then I'm going to select this E. I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Move this over here and let's call it as A and with the help of selection tool try to adjust the position again we will hit ctrl d and we will change the text to t and uh, with the help of our move tool i'll adjust the thing so we have to follow this procedure for all of alphabets so we will get each and every individual on separate layer so from now onwards i'm going to speed this video okay so now each and every alphabet is on separated layer as you guys can see we have each and every alphabet on different layer so now we will delete this reference layer we don't need that let's select all of them first and press ctrl alt home to align their respective anchor point at the center but the thing about this animation that we don't want those anchor point at the center so we want them at the top so to do that i'm going to choose my animation composer anchor point mover plugin uh, this is free plugin you can check it out link in the description then with the help of this you can click on this icon and all of the anchor points are at the top now now i'm going to convert these layers into 3d and now we have to animate this 3d animation so first of all we will focus on this e so let's enable this icon so i can see only this text and in view i'm going to choose two horizontal views and over here i'm going to choose active camera and over here i'm going to choose left view so we can see this properly like this now press r for rotation zoom in a little bit let's make this x value minus 90 we will create one keyframe go to 20 frames let's make this 60 so it will come like this then after that at this point i'm going to make it minus 30 at this point let's make this 10 and at this point let's make this 0 so if you see this animation you will get something like this now select those keyframes hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes so if you see you will get something like this now let's select those animation and by holding alt i'm going to reduce the size of this animation so you will get this kind of animation over here okay then go to the graph editor i'll select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get this kind of animation we don't need to adjust this graph only this much graph is enough for this animation so we will get this proper and good looking animation of this text flip over here like this 
okay so now we will go back to our one view and we will choose active camera then i'm going to select this expo rotation keyframes i'll hit ctrl c let's disable this icon select all the uh, alphabets and press ctrl v so if you see we will get this animation for each and every one and also enable this motion blur so we will get that little bit motion blur also and now zoom in a little bit hit page down button two times let's select this one and then by holding shift select this one alt close bracket to trim this out right click go to the keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok so we will get all of them are arranged in line wise and let's increase the duration so now if you see we will get this kind of flipping animation for this text okay so this is the first step of animation let's select all of them and press ctrl shift c uh, and i am going to name it as text and hit ok okay so this is for text animation and now we have to create one box also so let's select our rectangle tool over here let's deselect this and choose black color for the stroke and hit ok but before that what we are going to do we will select one uh, any kind of color to this box and we will create one box over here press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and simply bring this downward so we'll get something like this let's increase the stroke size somewhere around like this inside that uh, let's select this uh, change the stroke size to 10 pixels or let's say 15 and go to the rectangle one rectangle path one decrease this size uh, and let's move this over here okay now select this press ctrl shift c and and make this box and hit okay like this let's make this fit then select this rectangle selection tool and what we are going to do over here we will create one mask so from here to here i'm going to create mask like this then select this hit ctrl d press m select this mask so press v simply double click to select this selection and uh, by holding shift i'm going to bring this downwards uh, let's move this over here like this okay let's select this you can double click and with the help of arrow keys also you can adjust that select this hit ctrl d press m select this mask uh, then double click and simply move this over here again okay again select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it press m select this double click move this downwards and to try to adjust this over see hit ctrl d press m then double click to create this or uh, i don't think we need to double click uh, we will select this we will select this one and this one and we will bring this downwards okay then select all of these boxes press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center like this uh, then let's make this fit select uh, uh, both of them and change move the anchor point at the top of it then go inside this text select any text press r copy those rotation x rotation keyframe hit ctrl c go to the main animation hit u let's select those boxes and convert them into 3d go to the start and hit ctrl v so you will get this animation over here now inside that go and select this and we will delete this field we don't want that right now okay and over here what we want is we will hit page down button three times select this box move this over here again do that same procedure to so we will get something like this so now we will get one by one animation and then after this we want this text animation should start to animate like this so if i see this stuff now i'll get something like this now i'll go inside this box i'll select this i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it i'll press s and i'll scale it down then uh, decrease the stroke width to uh, let's say six maybe select this uh, go to the add menu and choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this end value 70 then alt click on the stopwatch type time into 60 okay so what will happen because of this we will get this rotation so uh, along with this animation we will get this uh, kind of rotating animation also okay so this is for this 
uh, then after that our this animation is done so let's select both of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as box and hit ok now uh, hit uh, press ctrl y to create one solid background and hit ok go to the effect and presets panel and search for ramp double click to apply this gradient ramp and select this ramp uh, and move this anchor point over here and this anchor point over here then right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for mosaic effect and double click to apply so you will get this kinds of blocks and change the horizontal blocks to 25 and vertical blocks to 25 so we'll get something like this select both of these layers press ctrl shift c and let's call it as ramp and hit ok and let's hide this select this box go to the effect and presets and search for time displacement effect and simply double click to apply and we are going to choose this ramp and let's go inside this box select all of them and let's move them towards 10 frames like this let's go to the main animation and let's see yeah so now if you see this animation you will get this kind of effect okay so let's select both of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as box animation and hit ok now select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's close this select this uh, this first layer and go to somewhere around 5 frames like this so we will get this kind of animation over here now uh, what we are going to do i'll select this box animation right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project select this box animation hit ctrl d and by holding alt i am going to replace it with this one double click to open this select this box right click reveal reveal layer in source project select this hit ctrl d by holding alt i am going to replace it double click to open this we have this text right click reveal reveal layer in source project hit ctrl d to duplicate it and by holding alt we will replace it then go inside this select all of these layers go to the character we are going to choose white color and we will choose black color for the stroke so we will get this kind of animation uh, and now if you play this from the start first we will get this animation and then we will get our text animation okay so this is how you will get this stuff and if you want then uh, let's move this over here or uh, let's try to move this to somewhere around over here like this okay and let's do one thing select this and let's change the horizontal blocks 20 20 okay and if you see this in full resolution it will take a little bit time to load but final output would be awesome so let's make this court resolution at least for now and if you want then you can go to the ramp also you can select this you can move this anchor point over here and this anchor sorry uh, this anchor point over here let's say and if you are going to see this output over here you will get different outputs like different types of reveals animation so it would be uh, really messy so i would suggest that keep this anchor point over here and this anchor point over here so you will get a little bit of subtle animation of the text then select both of them and again press ctrl shift c and let's call it as final animation and hit ok hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p simply bring this downwards like this and we want basically a reflection of it so select this select this rectangle selection and create one mask on it go to the mask properties and increase the feathers select this press t for opacity and let's make the opacity 50 okay so this is how you can create this kind of weird text reveal animations inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned